today we're going to be playing with a 2021 Indian Scout. Now, I just recently got access to be able to flash Indian motorcycles. So I'm extremely curious to see how this plays out today. I haven't tuned one yet. This is all new. And I'm really interested. I'm really curious. Uh, I always love doing new stuff because it's like a new challenge and a, a new adventure, if you will. So it's going to be pretty cool. We're going to throw it on the dyno. We're going to get it all prepped. We're going to do a baseline. We're going to sample it. We're going to get the horsepower, torque, all that jazz, AFRs, uh, front and rear cylinders. So uh, that's another thing. We're going to be tuning per cylinder. On V-twin motorcycles, I highly recommend that you actually tune per cylinder and not just the front or just the rear or uh, a combination of the two with the sniffer. Uh, some shops, they'll just throw a sniffer in the tailpipe, one sniffer, and they give you a generalized two based on the average between the front and the rear cylinder. And that's actually not how you do it because the front cylinder and the rear cylinder require two different style maps. So let me give you an example. Let's say you put a sniffer in the tailpipe of a V-twin motorcycle and you're running it and your AFR or your air fuel ratio, it shows that you are at 13.0 or a 13.2 air fuel ratio. All right, great, That's that looks great, right? Now what if what's actually happening, and I've seen this before, I've, I've tested this, you get a front cylinder that's reading, let's say like stoichiometric, which, you know, 14.7 AFR, and then you have a rear cylinder that's reading, um, let's say a 12.5 or a, um, no, lower than that. Let's say it's reading about a 12.0 AFR. So now you have one running very rich and now you have one running very, not very lean, but pretty damn lean. So you have pretty rich, pretty lean. It looks perfect on your sniffer because it's gonna average the two out. It's not gonna run smooth. It's not gonna make the power it should make, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So we tune per cylinder. All right. So we got our Indian Scout on the dyno. We're getting ready to do some pulls. I just warmed it up. Uh, let's see what this thing does. This is the stock mapping. And uh, yeah, let's see what it does. So we got the baseline done, and as you can see, we got a max power of 85 wheel horsepower. Since we can't get torque, we're not gonna get an RPM readout on this run. Now, what we're gonna be able to do through this flasher is we can actually extract the engine RPM through it, which we will overlay that down here uh, whenever we go to start tuning this thing. This is the uh, front cylinder AFR and the bottom one is the rear cylinder AFR. So as you can see, it goes really, really rich. This is probably around two to 3,000 RPM. Here's about four to five, I'm guessing, four to 5,000 RPM. So we get pretty lean there. 14.6, 14.1, 14.2, 14.6. Those are really lean AFR. So we're gonna, we're gonna go ahead and smooth that out, make it, make it a lot closer and then up at high RPM. So this is probably like 7,000 to uh, 7,500 RPM. That's right, you heard me right. It's 7,500 RPM. These things rev to the moon. Uh, we're at 11.4 air fuel and then 12.0 air fuel. So now we're going very rich. And here at Redline, we're at 8,500. We're at 10.8 air fuel and 11.4 air fuel. Just super, super rich. So we're gonna go ahead and fix all this. We're gonna dial it in and uh, we'll see what we get.
Okay, so we did our baseline and then we have a, an updated pull here. Uh, we made 92 wheel horsepower, so we're up seven wheel horsepower, peak versus peak. And that's mainly at the higher RPM, but we did pick up some, uh, some mid-range here too. Uh, let's simplify this real quick. So here is where we're at currently. So we've picked up about two wheel, let's see, another two wheel, three wheel. Here goes a little bit bigger of a gap. So we got a three wheel horsepower jump here, and this is about mid range. I would say this is around three, 3,500 or so, uh, which is now this is a common area that, that you spend your time in, uh, I would say is down low going up into mid range. That's like your light to light kind of thing for the most part. Uh, so a three wheel horsepower gain at this point, which again, it's roughly uh, 3,500 or so RPM, a three wheel horsepower gain is actually fantastic because what you do is you actually measure the rate of change, not necessarily just like the, the difference. So um, the rate of change in this case, now this is extremely rough math, but we are nearing that 6% threshold. So 6% is a big change that is enough to make you feel that pull to the back of the seat it's a very physical change that um that you'll be able to actually physically feel it rather uh while you're driving we had some really big gains up top i'm really happy with this result so far i mean we picked up like i said seven wheel up top which it definitely goes past that six percent threshold so i'm not sure how he drives this bike i don't know if he's out uh, and he beats on it like that or not or if he just kind of cruises around uh, but either way, big gains up top. I'm very happy with the results so far. Uh, we just flashed another map into it. I'm gonna keep running it and see how we do. Okay, it's pretty hard to see, but you're gonna get the general idea here. So we're almost to the very, very end here of the dyno session. I have a couple of really small areas that I need to touch up. We're gonna go ahead and look at the single graph now. And as you can see, we picked up power, even though it's not a lot down low, we still picked up power throughout the entire power band. Uh, and it increases the, the, the more RPM you give it, the more power you're going to make. So it's going to keep increasing in power as you go through this power band. Um, and as you can see, we started at 85.7 wheel and we're at damn near 94 wheel horsepower. This is a stock motor. All this bike has is a Freedom 2 to 1 exhaust system and that's it. He's got a stock air filter and he's got... I wanna say he's on a stock air filter and everything else is stock. Everything on this bike is pretty much stock. And we hit almost 94 wheel horsepower. That's incredible. I'm, I'm very happy with that. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's pretty cool. This was one of my first Indians that I've been able to tune. So I'm really excited about it. If you can, please like, comment, subscribe, do all the things. I really appreciate you guys. If you gained any value, please, it takes like 10, 20 seconds to do it. If you could, it would mean a lot to me, okay? I really appreciate it. If you like this content, let me know. If you guys wanna see something a little bit more in depth or if there's something else that I haven't done that you wanna see, just feel free to ask me, comment below and ask whatever it is that, uh, whatever it is that you wanna know. Um, again, I appreciate you. Thank you so much and I'll see you later.